Nothing's going to be quite the same, I guess. Now it's this new normal that I'm kind of uh, getting ready for. I definitely think that there are good things to come out of COVID. I got to know my neighbors a lot better, and my kids got to know the neighbor kids. Carlsbad is such a wonderful community. It's special in its own way, no matter COVID restrictions or normal times. It's, it's just a fantastic place. The city of Carlsbad has responded to the COVID-19 pandemic, ready to take on the challenges of the future with new approaches to doing business and a renewed sense of community connection. The city's top priority for the past 18 months has been protecting the community's health and safety and caring for those most vulnerable. Working together, thanks to the joint efforts of the community and local businesses, Carlsbad has consistently been among the lowest case rates in the region. Our seniors that would come in here to the dining room could drive up, pick up their meal in their car, and take it home. And that curbside line became just this event. Many seniors would tell me, this is the only time we come out of the house, we look forward to seeing you each day, and we got to 60,000. The city dedicated emergency funding to local nonprofit organizations so they could help serve more people and helped low-income residents affected by COVID-19 cover emergency rent and utility payments. City staff mobilized early on to find new ways to provide services. The building department completed over 2,500 video inspections and allowed residents to process permits online. Over at the city's three libraries, curbside pickup allowed residents to access over 300,000 books during the stay-at-home order. Between the city library, cultural arts, and recreational services, city staff hosted virtual programs daily for all ages, including an award-winning special event at Alga Norte Aquatic Center that brought people together in spirit to find hope and comfort. Once vaccines were available, the City of Carlsbad Fire Department worked with fire agencies throughout the region to get people vaccinated as quickly as possible. With the unprecedented effects on local businesses, the City of Carlsbad partnered with the Carlsbad Chamber of Commerce and Carlsbad Village Association to provide direct support and new programs for businesses. The Gift Carlsbad program generated 88,000 in gift card sales for over 80 local businesses. The city's innovative approach to helping local businesses during COVID earned Carlsbad international recognition as a smart city. The city also worked with over 100 businesses to move their operations outdoors so they could stay open and comply with county health orders. A new City Council Economic Revitalization Subcommittee guided these efforts and will continue to support Carlsbad businesses during the recovery. The City's efforts to attract innovative and resilient industries over the years means Carlsbad was better positioned to weather the economic impacts of the pandemic. In fact, Many businesses in Carlsbad's key industry clusters played important roles in COVID-19 testing, treatments, and vaccine development. Now, Carlsbad is a great fit for Thermo Fisher Scientific and the ability to expand that existing footprint working in collaboration with the city of Carlsbad made an ideal location for us. While others stepped up to meet new consumer demands, and businesses continued to relocate to Carlsbad and expand their operations, bringing hundreds of new high-paying jobs to Carlsbad. With more business than ever conducted online, the city of Carlsbad has rolled out new apps and online services. Like most organizations, the city transitioned to remote work and online meetings during COVID-19, continuing to provide opportunities for the public to participate in city decision-making. 
A new Carlsbad Connects app makes getting things done easier than ever. The new Carlsbad Commuter app is designed to help get more cars off the road by linking people to carpools and other options for getting to and from work. And a new online records portal makes searching for city records just a click away, saving residents time and the city money. The city also launched a new website that provides easy access to information and new video live streams of all city boards and commissions, in addition to the city council meetings. And a new recruiting app helps people find jobs in Carlsbad. Thanks to an innovative new high-speed fiber project, all of this new city technology will run at lightning fast speeds with plenty of room for expansion. These investments and more are part of a new strategic digital investment program approved by the City Council. Reducing homelessness is one of the community's top priorities. That's why the City Council has approved one of the most comprehensive homeless response initiatives in the region, building on a program that began in 2017. Three new homeless outreach officers were added in the latest city budget and new resources to help people access shelter, employment, and permanent housing. The plan builds on the programs already in place, taking advantage of the latest research and reporting progress to the public every three months. At the same time, the city has expanded current and future affordable housing. In the past year, the city added 40 new affordable units to the market and provided federal rental assistance to 550 households, in addition to those reached through the city's COVID-19 response. The city council also approved a new housing plan, something required by state law to make sure cities provide housing for people of all income levels and stages of life. A new housing and homeless services department will help ensure the city's investments are focused and well-coordinated. Public safety continues to be the city's top priority. A new study of the city's fire and emergency services outlined several investments that will be required to keep pace with the city's evolving needs. The City Council has made this one of its top three goals for the year, getting started by adding two new ambulances, as well as new firefighters and medical response staff. Future plans include establishing a new temporary fire station in the short term, while the city sites and builds a permanent fire station 7 to serve the areas west of the I-5. In the meantime, work is well underway replacing the old fire station 2 with a modern, more efficient station that will be done in 2022. During the COVID-19 stay-at-home orders, the city's essential workers were able to make solid progress on upgrades to water, wastewater, and drainage infrastructure throughout Carlsbad. This includes expanding the city's recycled water system with seven and a half miles of new pipelines, bringing this renewable resource to 77 new customers. The city's biggest investments are for projects that help improve traffic flow and make our roads safer for all kinds of travelers. The long-awaited Poinsettia Lane connection has been completed. And the city has installed new safety improvements for 10 neighborhoods where speeding was a concern. And the city's traffic signal system was upgraded with new technology to make traffic run more efficiently, especially at peak times. The 
The city recently purchased property, previously zoned for housing, to permanently set aside as open space. As part of the city's goal of creating a larger urban tree canopy, over 600 trees have been added to the city's tree inventory in the past year. And the city has now met its habitat management plan goal of setting aside over 300 acres of land to protect the California gnatcatcher. The new Village H South Trail in North Carlsbad is getting great use while city staff work on plans for continuing the trail and creating an off-leash dog park. The City Council approved a conceptual master plan for Veterans Memorial Park, and now it's undergoing the required environmental permitting process. Just down the road on the south shore of the Agua Hedionda Lagoon, the City is working on plans to create a scenic trail on land the City leases from SDG&E. Three, two, one! A new neighborhood park at the site of the old Buena Vista Reservoir in Old Carlsbad just opened. And new amenities at Calavera Hills Community Park are well underway. Heading south, 10 tennis courts at Poinsettia Park were recently resurfaced. And construction is about to begin on its long-awaited new dog park, along with a new restroom near the pickleball courts and more parking. The City Council has also given the green light for staff to take the next step on major upgrades from Monroe Street Pool, including expanding its size, adding more shade, new locker rooms, solar, and features to reduce noise for the surrounding neighborhood. The City is now in its fifth year of implementing the Carlsbad Climate Action Plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In May, the Clean Energy Alliance officially launched. This joint effort will provide more sustainable energy options for customers in Carlsbad, Del Mar, and Solana Beach. This year's city budget includes the addition of five new hybrid police cars, added to the 39 other hybrid vehicles already part of the city's fleet. Last year absolutely felt like I had no idea what was happening next. I think that there comes a point that things change too much. I do feel that we can hold on to what makes our community special, regardless of the different changes that come about. One of the City Council's top goals for the coming year is to work with the community to create a new approach to managing growth and maintaining the City's long-term financial health. As the City matures, its needs are changing. Growth in the future won't be large master plan communities. Instead, cities like Carlsbad will need to make sure new growth is more environmentally friendly, focused on reducing cars as the only form of transportation, and maintaining neighborhood quality of life. Many people who own property in older parts of the city may eventually want to redevelop to meet new community needs. The way to hold on to the way that Carlsbad is special, even though it's constantly changing, is making sure that we're involved in how it's changing to make sure that we can shape that. As soon as I moved here, I knew that I didn't want to live anywhere else. Carlsbad has an amazing, bright future ahead. I think uh, Carlsbad is a very inclusive and, and welcome community. So there's always great opportunities for anyone that wants to come here and uh, grow.